watching as the final touches were put on his new home. We're looking at my brand new place. <laughs> Victor Johansson was filled with pride. This is a dream come true. I know that term is used a lot, but this is a dream come true. Pride for his new home. Well, I mean, th these are like palaces compared to what they were. Pride for how far he and his neighbors have come. When we were told that we were going to be displaced, put out on the street, the main word was fear because I didn't have, my, myself personally, I had no place absolutely to go. I had no place. I would have been out on the street. Back in 2016, residents found out the Oak Leaf's owner was planning to sell it to a developer. The park was in bad shape. The trailers were so old, dilapidated and dangerous. But still, residents needed to stay here. So they mobilized. Local churches and nonprofits came to their aid. I, I mean, it's they marched and took to City Hall to plead with commissioners for help. It was definitely over 100. Um, and it was probably closer to 200. It was a small movement from a small community that decided to stand together and then the neighbors and the community saying, we're here for you. The city stepped up with a loan and neighborhood nonprofit Living Coley initially bought the park. Then they sold it to St. Vincent de Paul of Lane County, dedicated to this mission in Oregon. Knowing the population here was already at risk of displacement and already knowing this neighborhood's just past history of displacing folks, stepped in and just wanted to be able to make it a nice, relaxing place where people could actually come home to affordable housing. Over the past year, St. Vincent de Paul has worked with contractors to gut the park, transforming it. Local organizations helped replace the trailers with these energy efficient manufactured homes. Seeing them see the homes for the first time, that joy and that excitement that they have a home that's energy efficient, it's clean, it's brand new. Oak Leaf's journey sparked city council to pass a zoning code for mobile home parks aimed at preventing redevelopment. It just goes to show what can happen when people put their minds and hearts in the right place and do something positive for the community and uh, the area here. Definitely a good lesson to all of us. So far, I'm told 11 tenants have moved back in, but more manufactured homes still do need to be delivered. They're aiming for end of August to get everyone who's moving back, back in their homes. Back to you guys.